Hi, I'm Bob Schmidt with Home Remodel Workshop. So you've decided to go out and get you an air nailer for some trim projects that you have around the house. They're reasonably priced now. I'll show you a few tips you need to know about using them. There are three different types of nailers that I use on a daily basis. I install a lot of kitchens. I have my trim nailer, I have my brad nailer, and I have my latest and greatest that I love this thing. It's called a micro nailer. It's for nailing on very small trim. This is my trim nailer. It shoots anywhere from inch and five eighths to two and a half inch finish nails. It's used for nailing on most baseboards and fat, fat side of casings. That quick. And this is my trim nailer. It shoots anywhere from five eighths to inch and a quarter nails for thin sides of molding. And I used to use it for putting on cabinet trim but I have something different for that now. But here's the little guy I really want to tell you about. This is called a micro pin nailer. It shoots nails about the thickness of a pin, so you hardly have anything to touch up as far as nail holes, and it shoots anywhere from 5 8 to an inch, which is great for shooting into the side of cabinetry without going out the other side with small trim. Let me show you. Here we have a small piece of finished molding. There's several different types. With a micro pin nailer, you simply pack it in place, line this joint up, there are many different types of trims available. What's exciting about this micro pin nailer is it makes the hole so small that even when working with cabinet trim or any type of small detail trim, you probably won't even have to fill in the holes. They say it's all in the details. When it comes to cabinet trim, you almost can't live without one of these little detail makers right here. Putting on finished trim is, it, it can't be any easier. As you can tell, I'm excited about my new little toy. If you do decide to get air nailers and use air nailers for your trim projects, they're a fantastic time saver and it'll save you a lot of time and trouble, but there's a couple of safety tips you need to know. Number one, always wear safety glasses. Number two, there is a safety device on this that keeps it from discharging until it's depressed, but never walk around with your finger on the trigger like this when it's hooked to an air hose. All it takes is a bump against somebody, boom, they got a nail in them. And number three, is depending on the length nail you're using, be it in your, your trim nailer or in this brad nailer or even in the micro nailer, you always keep your hand farther back than the length of the nail is that you're shooting. Because there are times when you shoot into something, say it hits the head of a drywall nail or a drywall screw, the nail will actually do a U-turn and come right back out the front. If you have your hand anywhere close to where that'll be, of course, Pets and small children are not a good thing to have around these. Never leave them connected when you're not using them. And other than that, have fun with them. Practice with them a little bit before you actually try them on your finished product. And you shouldn't have any problem at all. If you found any of these tips about air nailers useful, uh, please don't hesitate to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to me at my YouTube channel. Uh, other than that, I'm sure we'll be seeing these guys again in future projects.